workers of reddit what is your best well i'm getting fired moments at work what were the consequences i worked for a small computer company doing a couple million a year in sales one of my tasks was to update price listings and have those changes reflect on our vendors websites I put one less zero on one computer model and ended up costing our company $30,000 in about one day. Someone had noticed the error and bought a crap ton of computers. Even though there was a QA process to catch these things after me, I knew I was getting fired. Well, to be fair, if your multi-million dollar company relied on manual data entry, then also failed QA, you didn't really want to work there anyways. I am a police dispatcher and one time at work I was working the desk and toys for tots workers came in. My boss joked that I should hit them to make sure they weren't thieves. We laughed and the gentleman took the 10 trash bags full of toys and left. Later that night a man called and asked when they could pick the toys up. After telling him that two guys already picked the toys up he informed me that we had most likely been robbed. He asked if I had ID'd them and I said no. He spoke to my boss and my boss then informed me that we would probably be on the news since a police station was robbed, which was ironic and he flipped out on me. It turns out it was an off-duty cop calling to play a prank on me. I bet your heart sank deep when you got off the phone. I worked at an automotive parts manufacturing factory while going to art college, and part of my job was boxing up parts and attaching a tag onto the box with thin wire. But for every box I completed, one every couple hours, I sculpted a little animal out of the wire with needle nose pliers. I gave the little sculptures, bears, rabbits, whatever to random employees, which they left on their workstation. One day as I was making one of the little sculptures, I looked over my right shoulder to see my supervisor standing directly behind me just watching me with a clipboard. I paused, looked her dead in the eye, held out the sculpture and said, once a bear she fired me on the spot, I'm now an animator at Disney. This is possibly the cutest getting fired story I've ever heard. I was a legal secretary. My boss was excited about our new big money case with a new big money client. Plaintiff Smith. Boss had three attorneys write a six page letter to our client outlining exactly how we were going to cream defendant Jones. The letter included possible counter attacks and legal citations and basically our entire strategy. Meanwhile, I was poring over docs we received regarding defendant Jones. I was asked to mail the strategy letter to our client Plaintiff Smith. No biggie just put it in an envelope right? I knew he lived on Maple Drive. So I pulled his address from some papers on my desk and mailed that sucker out. Next day, I'm poring over those defendant Jones docs again and my blood ran cold. No one had told me that Jones and Smith were next door neighbors. The address I'd pulled was Jones. I'd mailed our entire strategy to the opposing side. I immediately called their local post office and used my lunch break to drive there for the next two days. People at my office knew my mistake. I think I wasn't fired immediately because there was some chance I might fix it. Everyone avoided me or gave me tight-lipped smiles. Miraculously, the postmaster finally located the letter. The carrier had it in her bag on the third day and brought it back to the post office where I was waiting. I gave the postmaster a $25 gift card and my tearful gratitude. My boss who had avoided me finally broke the silence and said I cannot believe you freaking found that letter. It became a crazy story around the office and I was not fired. Holy crap. Nice recovery. I worked at a movie theater in high school. I'm blind in one eye and used to be sensitive about it. Got in an argument with a co-worker at the theater, but didn't really think anything of it. Later on, I was going down the hall to get more ice, and passed him as he was tearing tickets for customers. He muttered Cyclops as I passed just loud enough for me to hear, so I immediately turned around and punched him in the face in front of his line of customers. Never saw managers run so fast. Should have blasted him with your laser eyes, Summers. I had the bright idea to shoot off a potato gun in the parking lot of my company. I fired a few rounds across the road when the maintenance manager came running out screaming at me. I then realized I was shooting a firearm on company property. Doesn't matter it's potatoes and right guard, it is still a projectile. My fellow supervisors who were watching all disappeared. Went back to my desk to await my manager. All I got was an I trust this will not happen again email. Still work for the company and it occasionally gets brought up on my work anniversary. 
I was working at a cozy, sandwich, soup and salad place, and had asked to leave early the previous day since my uncle died. I went back to work and was still in a state of shock and couldn't check my baggage at the door. I had this horribly bitchy lady change her order 4 times during the lunch rush when I had a line out the door. I couldn't take it anymore and told her to either order or to the get the frick out of my line. My manager heard me. Before he could say anything I took my apron and hat off, handed it to him and grabbed my stuff and left. I use ADM to manage my IMs while I'm at work. I'm a developer. I was speaking to a project manager at a new job. I'd been there for maybe a month. She was asking me to do some tedious work that was completely unnecessary because they promised it to a client. While frustrated, I tabbed over to my girlfriend's IM to complain how frustrated I was that they were making us do all this work for basically nothing. Unfortunately, I didn't tab over. I sent the IM to the PM. My heart sunk into my stomach. Saw the little icon that showed she was typing and was like, Oh crap how do I cover this up before she responds. I reread the comment and noticed I used a lot of pronouns. So when she responded, she thought I was talking to her about the client. Dear lord I thought I'd ruined my awesome new job right after it started. In high school I worked at an AM radio station in my small town on Sunday mornings. I was the only person there from 6am to noon. It was mostly reading the weather and playing pre-taped programs. At one point I play a live broadcast of a catholic mass going on. During that time I would crawl into a ball in the break room couch and doze off, hung over from the night before. One Sunday I wake up to Hawkeye 1200. You can't sleep on the job I sit up and see the boss who runs the station standing over me with a frown. But I wasn't sleeping, I say. Just when I think he might buy it, he says. You have an alarm clock next to you. Oh yay, I brought in an alarm clock that I'd set so I didn't oversleep. Hard to explain that one. I thought I was screwed but somehow he didn't fire me. I worked there another month and then left for college. I work in a furniture store, mainly in the warehouse. We sell expensive crap. Like, the cheapest lamp you'll find is $100, and that's because it is damaged slightly. We had received a shipment of a very expensive set, all for a model home we were staging. I had a china cabinet, still boxed, on our forklift. It was set on a pallet upright on its side, so that it was very tall and not very wide. I was bringing it into the warehouse, being super careful. Well, we have a sunken manhole right in front of the warehouse garage door. The front right wheel of the forklift went right into the dip and I watched that 350 pounds box of wood and glass teeter, rock, and fall flat on the ground. It made a solid thunk and I knew it was all over. It turned out to have a not sad ending. The lady in charge of damages knew it was an accident and ordered a new one right away. No worries or anything. But, when we received the new piece, my manager wouldn't let me near it. Your boss's fault for not fixing a freaking sunken manhole in the middle of the path machinery takes. I'm a medical equipment repair technician. One night I was working on an exam light that was hanging from the ceiling in an operating room. I had a bit of it apart and was inspecting the connection between the big light head and the arm that it was suspended from when a clip popped out. The light had dropped to the floor. The arm is spring loaded and it shot up and shattered the ceiling and 5 or 6 lights showering the operating table, anesthesia cart and myself in ceiling tile, plastic and glass. At first I was in shock and what just happened didn't register in my brain. I reached down to pick up the light head, which is about 3 feet across, and grabbed the arm with my other hand. While trying to put them back together I realize I'm coating everything in blood. The or staff came running in and just saw me surrounded by destruction and covered in my own blood. Fortunately the charge nurse had a sense of humor. Worked at Taco Bell. Background. People generally consider me very mild tempered and kind. One night was particularly stressful. It wasn't unusual for us to kind of beat on the touch screens a bit but I got mad and punched one. Mind you, it wasn't a full blown OMG punch. It was more like if your buddy made fun of you and you kinda annoyingly punched his shoulder. The screen shattered and the touch screen but started ringing up hundreds of coincidentally. Fruit punches. The girl working next to me saw the screen shatter and saw my hand bleeding and looked at me like she thought I had just started a rampage and was about to go after her. I got fired three times that night. Each manager, store, district, then regional. 
fired me, yelled at me, then calmed down and said that since I had been a good worker they would let me stay if I paid for it. I paid for it. Took a couple of paychecks to replace a touchscreen computer in 2002. Threw a staple gun onto the counter. It bounced up and smashed a hole though the monitor at my workstation. Was fired the next day. My dad has a great one. He was a busboy at a restaurant. And it was his first day on the job. The place was packed. And he was rushing back with a ton of dishes. Somehow the tray to carry them fell and all of the dishes fell to the floor with a loud crash. Everyone looked over at my dad. My dad saw that there was one lone dish intact. Picked it up. Held it out at arm's length. Then dropped it. It broke. Everyone in the restaurant applauded. He was then fired. That's quite hilarious. I'm imagining him doing this with a prideful smile on his face. As he picks up the last dish. Stretches his arms out while standing with a straight back for just a moment. Only to suspend the excitement for the crowd. Before the inevitable shattering of the last dish. End scene. Applause. I once was chatting with a higher up manager about how a lot of people were away on the holidays. She said she may leave early, but was stuck pulling a couple extra hours with all the people out getting their stuff handled. As she was walking away, what I wanted to say was yeah, don't want to have anyone working harder at their job than they have to this time of year or something like that. What came out of my mouth was yeah, don't want to have to make you do your job. She was already around a corner by the time I got that far, so my brain made me stop talking. Then I realized what I had just said, but it was too late. She was already gone. I heard about it quite a bit from my direct superior later, but nothing came of it. This is why the best way to deal with a boss is saying yes I understand. Worked phone technical support in the late 90s. We had an instant messenger IM program, but weren't supposed to use it. Only if the managers contacted you. So a manager starts a large group conversation on a Friday, then immediately drops off. We continue chatting and having fun for a few minutes, but most drop out. About 10 of us kept it going. After some time, someone invites a few of our Canadian counterparts to the conversation. We're joking back and forth about who has the better beer, how their weather is sunny ours was rainy that day, etc. In the spirit of fun, I post the lyrics to the Royal Canadian Kilted Yaxman song from Ren and Stimpy. Seems to be no big deal. Conversation dies out within about 15 minutes and we eventually turn it off. I then get to dreaded manager I am asking my name and group and group manager. Uh oh. Within a few minutes, I am called in by my manager and he takes me to another manager who runs the Canadian group. I was reported as making offensive and harassing comments. My manager asks me very solemnly, what did you say I just know I am so fired at this point? Me. Um. I quoted the lyrics to the Ren and Stimpy Royal Canadian Kilted Yaxman song. He snorts and almost does a spit take laughing, then quickly recovers and says okay, don't do it again. I am is only to be used for work purposes. The other manager just kind of rolls her eyes, tells me the Canadian team doesn't have a sense of humor and reiterates not doing it again. And that was it. I got away with a slap on the wrist. Our cow do one tree reeks of trees. Our yaks are really large. I worked as a media buyer and on my third day on the job my boss asked me to find some information and update the, huge, spreadsheet he was working for the client's annual plan. As I was about to update it, he opened the file to finish a few things and asked me to wait. Now I'm the new girl, wanting to show service. I decide to open a copy of the spreadsheet and update it there. So when he finishes I know where it goes. He finishes, lets me know I can open the file. I just get mine, update it, and save on top of his work. I basically made him lose his entire day of work. The year round spreadsheet was ready and the one I had was a rough draw. I really thought he was going to throw his monitor on my head. He changed colors and had to leave the office in order no to curse me. I apologized the next day, so did he, and we agreed to always save versions from that day on. You have been visited by the typo dog he will protect you from all typos in the next 24 hours. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.